everybody, my name is Old School Nerd, and um, this is the new Baby Metal uh, featuring Tom Morello. I feel like I should know who that is. Are they like in a band? Are they they're in a band? I'm kidding. I'm stupid. I ain't that stupid. And here's why. Yeah, I know who Tom Morello is. I know who Tom Morello is so much that Tom Morello once almost got me killed with an opening riff. True story. And I'll tell you after this reaction. But before I start it, anytime Tom Morello is going to play guitar, I have to take my flip flops, take them off, put them over here. Also, part of the story that I'll tell you right after this reaction. Okay, everybody, it's Baby Metal, Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine. Yes, that's who that is. I told you. Okay, odds are, before I press play, um, how many, this is for chat and Twitch. I'm recording this live on Twitch on uh, Tuesday night. Um, everyone in Twitch chat, how many people are going to bitch at me in the, in the comments that I don't know who Tom Morello is? Only because they saw the first five seconds and then decided to make a comment. Anything's possible. All right, let's get into it. Baby metal. Three minutes, 27 seconds of hold your ass tightly. Let's go. Okay, that's really weird. They're playing it Punjab style, but it's a, it's a Sim Sam, which is the Japanese three string scimitar uh, played with a fan or a paddle. So, so it's a, it's a Sin Sam, like, like the Wagaki band, but instead of them playing a traditional Japanese style, they're playing that pluck feel like it's Punjabi swing. I'm so confused now. And I like it a lot. Nice break. Okay, I'm only stopping it because, you know, copyright. Um, <laughs> Trying not to get a strike today, okay, guys, people. Here's the thing. Um, typical in the respect of baby metal is known for two things. They're known for extremely fast metal when they want to go that route, like as fast as anybody because their, their band is amazing. But they still have that K-pop feel sometimes where they can generate a dance song. Like, remember when they made Joachim from Sabaton do the jumpy jumpy dance? Yes, same kind of feel. Except this time, it's Tom Morello. Now, if you're bringing Tom Morello into it, the closest thing to Tom Morello in Japan would be Maximum the Hormone. There's a funkiness to it. There's a groove to it. It's what makes Rage Against the Machine work. Rage Against the Machine is considered a form of metal but it's a form of funk metal, right? They're very funky. There's always never a straight line, especially in the way Tom Morello loves to play guitar. This fits perfectly, and I really like it. Now, is it for everyone? No, but if you love K-pop and J-pop, and you love how at any time a Japanese metal band can literally just go dance style on you, yeah, this is in your wheelhouse. It's done really, really well. However. Not a lot of vocalism. It is more of a, you know, Sui's doing the, 
the the Sue Sue's doing this kind of choppy. I said Suey. I'm gonna get the pig noises again, aren't I? I'm sorry. I, I I've gotten more crap about how I pronounce Sue Metal's name by accident, saying Suey because it's S U I. That people just made fun of me that I was making a pig noise, and I'm sorry, it's not my fault. I'm old. All right. So anyway, so when Sue Metal starts singing. It's not her classic vocal melodic style. This is more of a chop feel, kind of giving that kind of kind of a hip hop vibe, that little, yeah, more poppy, but uh, very fierce. And I do like what they're doing. And the video, really high production, but it is baby metal. It's kind of what they do. have a lot of the things you want okay i can see why a lot of people love this because it does have the energy it does have a fun feel to it it has what dave kroll refers to as the <coughs> it's got that bouncing off count that'll make the crowd jump pretty much halfway th through half the song um so it's got great it has a chant back although i think she's saying washa washa washer machine i don't know what that means um i my clothes are clean. I don't need to do my laundry, but thanks for reminding me. Also, Tom Morello's um, guitar style worked perfectly in this because many of you know Tom Morello sounds like he's doing turntable scratching, but on the strings of his guitar that that um, that screech the running the running of the pick along the the guitar strings rather than just plucking across. Um, he really kind of innovated that style. Um, it's a great overall track. Now we're gonna let it finish out playing. Uh, and I, th I think I've spaced it out now to where I won't get a strike, hoping. And then when we're done, I will tell you the story about why I never wear flip-flops when Tom Morello is playing guitar and how his guitar riff, an opening riff of one of his songs, almost cost Old School Nerd his life when he was just 21 years old. Yeah, having having them, uh, that's the next one uh, from uh, Conquer Divide. But anyway, let, let's get into this. Okay, yeah, having baby metal sit on the end of Tom's guitar is pretty cool. Okay, as promised, okay, love the song. I think it's really, really good. It's going to be very great live. I think it's going to make the crowd just lose it, and that's what you want. Um, it's got a little bit of everything. Classic baby metal feel. It's got the metal. It's got the pop in it. It's got Tom Morello 
Speaking of Tom Morello, I promised you guys a story. Okay, 1996. Crazy year. Uh, look up 1996 in reference to Rage Against the Machine. Pretty big year for them, actually. Probably the biggest year of their career, considering them exploding on the world stage. Back in then, there was uh, quite a few music festivals that were touring the U.S., and at the time, I was living in Dallas, and there was one in Dallas at that time. And I went there out there on the weekend. And you guys know, if you've been to music festivals uh, now, there's always like a tent, multiple side stages, the main stage. If you go to Vakken, there's two main stages. Well, back in 1996, this festival had a main stage and a side stage. Typical. All right. So they would always have bands like Smashing Pumpkins, um, Metallica etc on the main stage and on the side stage it would always have bands that were either up and coming they were new or they were classic artists that they just brought in there to kind of fill in while one band was breaking down the main stage to put in the next band they would have a band on the side stage playing whatever at this particular music festival i was there with my friend mike a different mike not the current friend mike and i was wearing flip-flops which is what you did in the 90s in Texas. I had cargo shorts. I had a t-shirt. I did not have dreads. Although half of the bohemian little hippies had dreads at this festival. And Smashing Pumpkins just finished playing their song. And they finished their set and they were tearing down the main stage. It was in the middle of the day. Um, and they were getting ready to start doing the night act. So they had on the side stage, it was supposed to be Waylon Jennings. Do you know who Waylon Jennings is? Just a good old boys. Yeah, the Dukes of Hazzard thing guy, right? Was supposed to be there, but he wasn't. He canceled. So instead, it just so happened that this was a few days before a certain album came out called Evil Empire. And as I'm standing in the middle of this field, because the sides, since the main stage was down, the huge 100,000 people went to porta potties, merch, food, and tents, thinking it's Waylon Jennings. So there's like 50 people on the side stage waiting for Waylon Jennings. There's 95,000 people walking to vendors and tents and porta potties. And here's me and Mike standing out in the middle of, of everything, just kind of standing there. And then a certain riff. Na -na 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 exactly. Dun 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 dun. Bulls on Parade, out of nowhere. They used to do this a lot in the late 90s before they went extremely large. Um, Rage Against the Machine would love to pop up and just surprise at music festivals. They thought it was hilarious. And it was, until you realize that you're standing in between 95,000 people and the newest, biggest, hottest band on the planet. So we ran. We ran as fast as we could towards the uh, sound control tower. And I lost a flip-flop. I almost got trampled. But I didn't get trampled because I was saved by just letting the flip-flop. I didn't go back for the flip-flop. So now, any time that Tom Morello is going to be playing guitar, I don't wear flip-flops. Because I don't want to get trampled. To this day. All right. You didn't need to hear that, but I don't care. I did it anyway. All right, guys, that was the new baby metal featuring Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine. My name is Old School Nerd. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.